So we're ready to do another house. And this house is probably the one of the more unique houses I've ever had to tear down in a disaster site. This was a cabin uh, that had has been added on to you know four or five six times who knows but um, there's just a lot of unique woodwork in here it's kind of actually sad to see this go but there's just too much damage these plank are actually what I refer to as bridge plank they're actually two inches thick so we are going to attempt to try to save those if we can and again just Lots of additions onto this place. Started as a hunting fishing cabin, probably close to a hundred years ago. And then added on, look at the staircase. Hand hewed with pegs. Kind of sad, but it's just stuff. So, it was a very, <laughs> very unique a lot of character in this place. A lot of character. Little sunroom here. But the uh, whole structure has been compromised and twisted. You can see that bridge plank. That's from the house being twisted, pulled it away. Hey, Elaine. Hey. Tell me about your trip. Oh my, where do you begin? Like the elf on the shelf I found, what in the world happened? Um, it's been amazing. We have seen so much devastation. We've cleaned out houses where elderly people lived and will no longer rebuild. They've lost everything. Um, had someone found a wedding band that was a grandfather's given to his wife for their wedding and being passed on to the daughter and the daughter, daughter's daughter. Um, we've looked for a pig thimble and I believe it was found. Um, just amazing, just amazing and homeowners are so friendly and kind but have lost everything kind of emotional for them to see a house their house go down like this but you know there's other plans it's wood and it can all be replaced but their lives are more important and thanks to chip and barb they have been amazing hosts and cooks and leaders and they just guide us which direction we go next so what are you going to take away from all of this you know all the stuff we have at home is just stuff we don't need it and in time of need everybody comes together to help there's there's no politics there's no covid there's there's no news, we're just working together as one unity, and we may leave without even knowing first names, but we've, we feel like we've spent, spent the, our time, our life with them. It feels like community down here, doesn't it's it? It's very community, yep. yep. It's, yep. it's very rewarding doing what 
we have been doing this week and I'm hoping to come back another another time before this is all done. There's one of the big trucks that takes away all the stuff we pile on the curb. It's Thursday in Kentucky. I think today's the 6th. And a little snowy around here. I think we've got, I don't know, probably an inch and a half now. So this morning, we uh, that house right there, we cleaned off the deck. There were some walls left and stuff inside, so we used the excavator and people cleaned that off. Had to go down towards the lake, so it got a little slick at the end. There's everybody standing in the snow. And uh, there's the house that we tore down yesterday, right? It was right there, the piles right there. Back on like that. Man, it's really coming down. There were some pretty big flakes today. And if we come back, we're working back there on, on that house, but behind it, there's a lot of trees. So that's what we're up to today. Plow and snow in an excavator in Kentucky. 